Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. Today we are going to solve one very interesting quartic equation. If you want to solve by your own, pause this video and go for it and then check the solution. I will solve this using substitution. So I am going to consider x minus 8 is equal to our substitution. So let x minus 8 equal to a. Once I am taking x minus 8 a, then I can write x minus 9 will become a minus 1 and x minus 10 will be a minus 2. Our main consideration or substitution is a is equal to x minus 8. Let's put back this value in the original equation so that it will form in a. So x minus 10 is a minus 2. I will write a minus 2 whole square plus x minus 9 is a minus 1. So I will write a minus 1 whole cube plus x minus 8 is original substitution. So I will consider a power 4 equal to 2. Now I am going to use two standard formulas or identities. First one a minus b whole square and second one a minus b whole cube. You can see first term and second term. So these formulas are applicable. So you can check a square minus 2ab plus b square and second formula is aq minus bq minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Let's apply here a minus b whole square. So I will write a power 2 plus 4 minus 4a plus a minus b whole cube. Formula is written over there. a cube minus 1 minus 3a square b. So minus 3a square and plus 3ab square. So plus 3a. Then plus a power 4 equal to 2. Now collect all the terms in the appropriate order. So leading coefficient will have the highest power. So a power 4. I will write a power 4. Then what is a cube is once only. So a cube will be there. Then minus 3a square plus a square. Minus 2a square will be there. Then minus 4a plus 3a. That means minus a must be there. So it is here. 4 minus 1 that is 3. Right hand side 2. So it will give us LHS plus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see easily this equation is quartic and little more simplified version. Now we can solve this equation. How? I can consider this term, this term and this term in one basket, in one bracket and the remaining two in the other bracket. So if I will write, see what will happen. a power 4 minus 2a square plus 1. Done. What is left? That is a cube minus a. Right hand side is 0. Now this is one perfect square. Minus sign is with 2. So you can see it is a square minus 1 whole square. Check. a square whole square, a power 4. 1 whole square, 1 minus 2 first term second term so minus 2a square and then I will take from the last two terms I will take a common so in bracket a square minus 1. Now see a square minus 1 is there a square minus 1 is there I will take completely common a square minus 1. So what will be left a square minus 1 if I will take common then from first term I will write a square minus 1 and last term I will write only a equal to 0. Now f dot g equal to 0 that means either f equal to 0 or g equal to 0. Let's apply. I will write a square minus 1 equal to 0 or a square plus a minus 1 equal to 0. Let's solve both the quadratic equation one by one. Okay, let me consider this is my equation one and this is my equation two. So for from equation number one, I will write a square minus one equal to zero 
add 1 to both sides, a square is equal to 1, take a square root both sides, a will come out plus minus 1. If a is plus minus 1, remember our substitution, this was our substitution. So x minus 8 was our a. This was our substitution. So in place of a, I can write x minus 8 equal to plus minus 1. Add 8 to both sides. x is equal to 8 plus minus 1. That means 8 plus 1, 9 and 8 minus 1, 7. So we are having two integer solutions x9, x7. Now come to this quadratic equation a square plus a minus 1 equal to 0. So we know one formula for quadratic equation that is called quadratic formula or Shidrachar formula that is minus b. So b is plus 1 so minus 1 plus minus a square root b square so 1 is square 1 minus 4ac so plus 4 c is negative so sign will be positive 2a so 2 now i will write this value as minus 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 this is our a now i will do the same job i will write again in place of a x minus 8 so i can write x minus 8 is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 add 8 to both sides so x will become 8 what i should write plus in bracket i will write minus 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 so you can see it is 16 16 minus 1 so 15 so our final value would be 15 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2. So we have got two rational solutions where a square root is involved. So there are four solutions for the quartic equation. This equation is quartic. Let me verify the first two x is equal to 9 and 7. And if you want to check the third one also, so that is also true. So let me write here verification. So I will check for x is equal to 7 first. Okay, 7 minus 10. So minus 3 whole square. 7 minus 9. So minus 2 whole cube. 7 minus 8. So minus 1 whole 4. Check whether this value is 2 or not. So minus 3 whole square. 9. Minus 2 cube. So minus 8 and minus 1 whole power 4, 1. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. So which is our RHS? That means it is true. So this is verified. Now come to x is equal to 9. 9 minus 10, minus 1 whole square. 9 minus 9, 0. No need to write. Plus 9 minus 8, 1 power 4. Minus 1 square is 1. 1 power 4 is 1, RHS is 2 which is our simplification. So this is also true. If you want to check the third and fourth also, it is verifying the equation I have cross checked. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.